Hey everyone, it's Kirk here again at Option Alpha. So I wanted to use this video just to highlight something because I get a lot of questions on this. I know I personally have gone through this just in the last week with my EV portfolio, which is this question around like, why isn't the bot finding trades? And it ultimately always comes down to the data that you are telling the bot to look for and the trades that you're telling the bot to look for. And those trades actually being present in the market. So I wanted to give you an example because I had this question myself where I was looking at my QQQ EV bot and this bot I know is set up to enter new positions every couple days. So if you remember inside of our scanner automation, we're telling it to open positions every three market days or so. And so we space things out around three market days, which means that it should be entering new EV trades every three to four days or so. And the last trade that it has entered is about 13 days ago. Now those are calendar days, but even still market days, that's quite a long time that it hasn't entered a trade. So I naturally was wondering like, why the heck is my bot not entering positions? So the reason that's not entering positions is because just purely not finding the positions that match our criteria. And that's okay. That's what we should be doing as traders. And we should be using bots to do was just use bots and technology and automation to find trades that are good trades. And if they're not good trades, or if the numbers don't match up, or they don't align with what you want for your trading, don't enter the trade. And so this is what's happening right now. And as much as I want to make adjustments, I want to force a trade, I'm not going to because I have to stick to my rules and my process and my automations. They're going to do it for me. I can just trust the process, trust the system don't have to interject myself into this and make any changes. So if you remember with our EV portfolio right now, you can see the fine trade ideas action has some very specific criteria. And so I'll just show you how it's looking for trades, right? It's looking for trades that are roughly, I think it's right here. Yeah, trades that are about 15 to 30 days. And then it's got some additional criteria, low VIX, which the VIX is low, so that's easy. We, on this one, because it's a QQQ position, we don't have to worry about earnings or anything like that. But it is looking for positions that have alpha greater than five, EV contract greater than 10, and probability of profit greater than 60, and max loss less than 500. I mean, those are some pretty good ones we went through in the video when I started this EV portfolio. Why I was using these numbers, where I was getting these numbers from, they all come from our research and data that we've done. And so I'm using all of those as criteria. Now, if you go over to trade ideas, actually, let me go back here for a second. If we go into the log, you can see the log and it ran here today at the time I'm doing this video. It ran today and you can see it found no ideas matching this selected criteria. And you can see no trade ideas found matching criteria. Three were filtered out by expected value. 154 were just not inside of our DTE range. So of all the possible trade ideas out there, a lot of them were outside of the 15 to 30 range we were looking for. 22 were filtered out by probability of profit and 109 filtered out by alpha. So this is basically telling us that of all the possibilities that are out there, nothing matches up yet. Now we know stuff has before because it's entered trades before, we've tested it with trades before, and we have lots of data over five alpha, over 60 probability profit, et cetera. It's just, it hasn't matched up yet and that's okay. Pricing isn't where we need it to be at this exact moment. So you can see that's basically what it's been doing. It's just been running through its automations, checking, 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 and just hasn't found an opportunity yet. Some of them filtered by other things like FOMC or whatever. And so now we have to let the bot basically do what it needs to do. Now, if we go over to trade ideas, we'll just refresh this so we have the most recent data. Here is a look at where Trade Ideas is right now. So the same database that's pulling it from, in this case, what I've did, or what I, what I did, here is I actually switched it to one ticker input, which is QQQ, just so we can focus on that one ticker and then applied that. And then I looked at D, DTE, 15 to 30 days, that's the same one we're using, probability of profit, 60% or higher, and I did EV $10 or more, just for right now. Now we have one other filter here, but you can see, as I start to work through this like checklist, if you will, of filtering, I get a lot of stuff, like a narrowed list, I guess you can say, of potential trades. Now, if I remove one of these, you can see I've got a lot more trade ideas that the bot could potentially open. But when I start to introduce things like filtering for EV per contract, $10 or more per spread, $10 or more, you can see the list starts to dwindle down. And that's good, that's what we want. We want the list to start to dwindle down. Now, if we go here and we filter by alpha 5% or more, 
you can see we now we have no actual trading opportunities found. Now, a couple minutes ago when I was doing this right before the video, some opportunities were found that were just over five alpha, but some of those opportunities had really high max loss. So then it would be filtered out by our max loss, which is $500 per spread in my case. Now, if you have a higher threshold, then maybe some of those trades go through, but sometimes you'll see some of these criteria in here, but again, all of the criteria have to match. And in our case, all of the criteria haven't yet matched. Um, and that means that it's not gonna enter a trade. So here's one that actually currently does match some criteria just because it got refreshed a couple minutes ago. And you can see that it actually meets all of our criteria, low max loss. So if this is still present when the automation runs again, then it might pick up this trade and start entering this position. But pricing could change on this stuff all the time. And even if we just refresh it, it could go in and out of favor here. You can see actually that one, I just literally refreshed it from the last minute. And now a completely new trade has come to the top and actually matches that other one that we just were looking at Pricing is now out of bounds and doesn't work for it. And it's literally that quick that it could happen. It'd be in and out of favor here. And now that one was a call spread. If you were one the video, you'll look at it. That one was a call spread. This one's an iron condor. That call spread doesn't even show up on the list anymore. Now this iron condor does show up on the list as meeting all the criteria. So like this is how fast market pricing is moving. This is why you need a bot that can be running and watching all of this stuff and just running through intervals during the day and checking all of this criteria. But sometimes the criteria isn't there to actually match what you're looking for. And if it's not, then just the bot's not gonna enter the position. That's okay, that's what you want. That's what you want with a rules-based approach. So in my case, like I said, and now I just refreshed it one minute later and now nothing matches again. So I mean, like this is how close we are with some of these positions on QQQ, which is okay. I wanna get into great trades when they're there. I don't want to force trades that don't exist or, you know, bend the rules or my criteria just for the sake of trading. And I hope this video helps out because I know a lot of people go through this. I myself have gone through this again, like I said, personally, where I'm looking at some of the bots that have been running and I'm looking at these bots going, why haven't these bots made any trades? Like the EV bot here for EEM, this thing's been running for a couple of days now, like weeks. And you can see it's just not finding the trades that I'm looking for which is okay. I'm going to wait for the better trading opportunities and not force a position in. So like I said, hopefully this video helps out. If you do have any questions, let me know. Until next time, happy trading.